untap your full potential with the untapped deck tracker. Both the in-game overlay and the personal stats provide a lot of value. Download it for free today using the link below and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another standard games video. Today we're taking a look at a blue-white aggro deck featuring four copies of Illuminator Virtuoso as one of the build around cards. A 2 mana 1-1 one, one with a double strike, saying when it becomes a target of a spell we control, it connives, meaning we draw a card and then discard a card. If we discarded a non-land card, put a plus one plus fan counter on that creature, which of course pairs very well with a double strike as we get to take advantage of it twice. And then the Virtuoso also pairs incredibly well with Security Bypass, another card from Streets of New Capenna, enchanting our creature, saying it's unblockable as long as it attacks alone. And whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, it connives. And we can connive twice thanks to Double Strike with the Virtuoso, so we can very quickly put a ton of counters on it, as we also get to connive when we put the Bypass on Virtuoso in the first place, so we can very quickly build up this huge creature that can kill the opponent in one or two attacks. And to fully leverage the connive mechanic in this deck, we're also playing all eight of the Mythic Rare dual faced cards, Seagate Restoration and the Mirios Call, which we can play as an untapped land at the cost of three life. But because they are spells on the front side instead of lands, if we discard them to connive, we still get that plus one plus one counter. So that way we have a much higher density of spells, quote unquote, that we can discard to connive to get value from them. And then because we're also playing these dual faced cards, all of a sudden our instant and sorcery count in the deck becomes incredibly high, as we have 14 instant, 16 sorceries, so that's half of our deck. And now it also makes sense to include Delver of Secrets as a powerful one drop that can quickly transform into Insectile Aberration, a 3 2 flyer. And then looking through the rest of our deck, we also have four copies of Ledger Shredder, a 1 3 flyer that lets us connive if a player casts their second spell each turn, which we're also very good at with all our cheap instants and sorceries, especially Homestead Courage, which we can flash back out of the graveyard for just one mana, putting a plus one counter on our creature, giving it vigilance until end of turn. Also useful in playing around the Wandering Emperor, which can only exile tapped creatures. And then we also have two copies of Storm Chaser Drake as the final creature in our deck, a 2 1 flyer that when it becomes a target of a spell, we control lets us draw a card, so another great payoff for all these cheap pump spells. Then we also have four copies of Guiding Voice, putting a plus one counter on target creature and lets us learn one of our seven sideboard lessons in best of one. We're typically going to get environmental sciences to get an extra basic land, which is why we have two of each basic. Also because there's quite a few land destruction decks in standard, which require you to have a few basics in the deck, which is why we don't have any creature lands. And then another great card is Expanded Anatomy, putting two plus one counters on our creature, giving vigilance until end of turn. So great synergy with Storm Chaser Drake and Virtuoso especially. And then we could also sometimes get Transformation, turning our creature into a 4-4. So turning the Virtuoso into a base 4-4, still has Double Strike, still has all those plus one counters. Also works quite nicely, as we also get to connive when we target it. And then also have Teachings of the Archaics, which can often let us draw two, as we can quickly empty our hand, so the opponent's more likely to have more cards in hand than us. So those are typically the ones we get. If the game were to drag out, we also have Mascot Exhibition as an extra finisher, but the games usually don't last that long, as our deck can kill very quickly. And then we also have some interaction with four copies of Fading Hope to bounce opposing creatures. Four copies of Consider, also useful in casting two spells in the same turn with our Lancer Shredder, potentially even in the opponent's turn. And then we also have six protection spells with four copies of You See a Guard Approach, which is mostly giving our creatures hexproof until end of turn. Can also use it to tap down an opposing creature, which can come up. And then two copies of Slip Out the Back, which will phase out our creature and put a plus one counter on it. So this can be the better protection spell when faced sweeper effect, but for the most part we will be facing instant speed removal, in which case Hexproof still lets us attack with our creature. And then taking a look at our mana base, of course we've got our 8 Mythic Rare lands, and then not a ton of other lands as we want to keep the spell count high for Connive, and the instant and sorcery count high for Delver of Secrets, so just 2 of each basic land, 4 Deserted Beach, and 4 Pathway. So that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the draw. This hand is in search for a creature. We do have a consider to try and find one, and we get an extra draw step. But if we don't find one in the first two turns, we could be in trouble. I think it's worth a shot since our mana is pretty good. And we've got some nice uh, pump spells once we find a creature, plus protection. But there's definitely a fail case. So turn one, consider. Up against blue-black, make that Grixis. Turn to Harvester is going to be tough. 
Although we can get our creatures above two toughness to survive the minus two, minus two. Slip out the back. A card I typically wouldn't mind in this matchup, but we just desperately need to find a creature first. All right, doesn't look like we're gonna have one. So play this tap and pass, and then, yeah, the window is closing pretty soon. Take three. And there's a Luncher Shredder, so we can play that, keep up protection, and then we have an extra white source to start playing Homestead Courage next turn. Right now survives the minus two from Harvester, but they could have a Voltage Surge to deal four damage. And other various removal spells, so I don't think tapping out to put a counter on Shredder was a good idea. So we'll take three once again. And Soren can make a Vampire. It's gonna plus instead. Okay, so play Emiria untapped, and then what's our plan? I could Homestead Courage twice. We could also maybe play Security Bypass. Probably no real reason to go for it now, uh, since we're planning to attack their Planeswalker. Could also Guiding Voice, but we definitely want to keep up Guard Approach. Not sure what to learn with Guiding Voice at this point. Since our hand's pretty full, it's not going to be Teachings. Might end up being Expanded Anatomy, uh, which I won't be able to play this turn. But can maybe play it next turn. And then keep up Protection, so I think I still learn for it here. And then take three, so we can play Homestead Courage as well. Gives it Vigilance. Get to Connive. And another guard approach is good. Get rid of Restoration. So don't quite get to kill Sorin. But still hit for four. Prevent him from making a vampire. Your blood will be mine. And have double guard approach as protection here. For knowledge, a fair trade. Harvester attacks. A little suspicious. If they have Meat Hook Massacre for three, they could finish off Lancer Shredder, so that's a reason not to block. So I think I just take it as hexproof wouldn't be too helpful there. Although we do have to keep an eye on our life total as well, as we're down to eight. Opponent just cycling Xander's Lounge. So they need to find a pretty specific combination of removal spells to deal with the Shredder through double guard approach. Get to untap. Another Homestead Courage. So we could go for Expanded Anatomy, although I would rather double spell to keep hitting my land drops. So we'll start with a Flashback Courage, maybe discard another one to connive. As we can still flash it back for value. Fading Hope could be useful. And we'll take out Sorin. And then next turn we can start going face. And now it's 9 toughness, we can block Harvester and beat a Meat Hook Massacre as well. Opponent discarding a Corpse Appraiser, which did not have too many targets here. Harvester goes to combats. This time we'll block. And it's going to be Kaito just to draw. Most likely. So that's going to phase out, so no point in attacking it. Corpse Appraiser triggers Luncher Shredder. 
And do we want a second copy? I don't think it's going to matter enough. As we just want to keep a protection here. So that can maybe go. And then just to be mana efficient, I could bounce the appraiser so we don't need to worry about erasing it. Although we'll have plenty of access to vigilance. So it's not necessarily a concern. But I think it's still a good use of our mana. And then Delver could be worth it if we find a blue source. Otherwise, also probably not doing much for us. So we'll untap. And then now I might feel comfortable going for Expanded Anatomy, or we can just flash back Homestead Courage twice and still keep up double guard approach. So we also get to connive. Or I could keep up a single guard approach by going Expanded Anatomy and Homestead Courage. So close call. Don't think Security Bypass is going to be necessary. So I'll play it safe and just uh, keep up double guard approach. And then Virtuoso can probably go as well. And this is a two-turn clock. Don't expect too many sacrifice effects out of the Grixis deck necessarily. Because that's a potential way around Hexproof. So it's going to be Corpse Appraiser once again. Can exile Virtuoso now. But they need a pretty specific answer here. If they play a flying creature we can either bypass past it or just tap it down. So that's not necessarily an answer. And the upside of Hexproof versus Phasing Out is that we can still get the attack in even against instant speed removal. Which is why we're playing 4 copies of Guard Approach and only to slip out the back. Even though it does have its uses against Sweepers. Kaito is going to loot. Now this is a juicy and yeah, despite keeping a pretty sketchy hand without any creatures, we found one and were able to protect it quite nicely. Underdog enables Shredder. Restoration can go for that sweet knife value. And yeah, can expect them to have some insta speed removal here, but uh, don't think it's gonna matter. Don't expect them to gain any life at insta speed, but might as well homestead courage for vigilance here. And attack. And there's the Infernal Grasp, but one probably knows that by now we have some protection in place. And there we go, 14 to the face. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and is pretty all in on a Storm Chaser Drake, but I think I'm willing to give it a shot. And then Seagate Restoration versus Deserted Beach. I think we play Beach because we might need a lot of white mana in the same turn. So if we draw like a Plains, could be beneficial to have the white land already available. Opponent on a black deck could have quite a bit of removal. So important that we find a backup creature eventually. Virtuoso helps. So now... I probably take three, so we can keep up Fading Hope and maybe bounce our own creature back and add Virtuoso to the board as opposed to going for Homestead Courage, even though finding more white mana is helpful. Opponent Esper Colors could see a Raffine or a Meatog Massacre for one. It's going to be a wedding announcement instead. That's okay. Not going to bounce a token end of turn. So Homestead Courage, probably on the Drake, since I would prefer to draw into more mana. There we go. Now we can flash back. Probably once again on the Drake, even though Virtuoso could output more damage. Security Bypass on Virtuoso would be pretty sweet. But I think we'll wait one more turn on it. 
Opponent takes six. And pass. If they play Rafine, we can bounce it and pay the extra ward cost as well. Could see Wandering Emperor try and exile Virtuoso. Then we can pick it back up. So that's also where the Vigilance from Courage is quite helpful. Void Random Drake will bounce it, draw a card. And then now we can go all in on the Virtuoso perhaps. Don't really mind Restoration on top as just a spell we can discard to connive. So, can we one-hit KO my opponent here? Because for a single white, unless they've got a march, it's unlikely that uh, they'll be able to interact. So, if I go Courage, three times plus Bypass, I think we might have enough. And doesn't seem like they're holding interaction. Can discard Courage to Courage as well if we'd like. And then still flash it back. That this should work. And now we have some protection as well, but probably going to be tapping out here anyway. Bypass to become unblockable. And that's at least 16 damage coming across. Make that 17. Alright, sweet, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and our hand has a lot of potential if we can get Virtuoso plus Bypass going. Missing a protection spell, so that could be kind of the determining factor. Although I can dig turn one with Consider to maybe find one. So we'll give that a shot. And hope we're playing against a deck that doesn't have a ton of interaction. Mono Green could be one of them. Just gotta watch out for a Blizzard Brawl. And I think we keep the lands because we could use a third one. Fourth one, probably not so much. Okay, so... Don't expect a fight spell next turn, and should be able to pump up our Virtuoso quite a bit now. Ranger class is fine. And an Amiria's Call we can discard to connive. So definitely gonna Homestead Courage, and then we'll see what we potentially connive into. Guiding Voice, so Amiria's Call can go. And then probably keeping up Fading Hope to punish a fight spell is not a bad idea. Not that the wolf is large enough at the moment, but uh, that seems fine instead of going for bypass. This seems slightly safer. And then maybe keep the vigilance for next turn and just guiding voice for now. And discard lands. Okay. Learn for... How about an expanded anatomy? Keep going all in on one creature. And that's a damage opponent already forced to chump. So yeah, if this is mono green like we suspect, I don't think there's much they can do against this uh, virtuoso opening. And yeah, opponent agrees and explodes. Next turn, they know about anatomy, which can keep on growing virtuoso. There's homestead courage, and that's almost gonna present a one-hit kill. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play with a potentially quite promising hand. If uh, Virtuoso gets to survive and we find some more pump spells and uh, maybe a security bypass to go with it. And a turn one Delver is always nice too. Let's see what we're up against. Planes. No transformation just yet. And I think against a white deck, don't expect too much removal turn 2, so I'm okay tapping out for Virtuoso, as opposed to waiting until we can keep up our protection. Opponent is indeed a human creature deck, turn to Aspirant, always powerful. And Delver sees a Stormchaser Drake. Okay, I think we attack and can offer the trait Virtuoso Aspirant, even though Virtuoso has the potential of being quite powerful. Don't have any ways of enhancing it just yet. 
and opponents likely to just take two. Play Drake, and then we can consider end of turn, digging for Homestead Courage, probably our best draw, as a way to draw cards with Drake and maybe Pump Virtuoso. So our opponent's a Naya Humans deck, can expect the partners at four mana, maybe a Brutal Cathar at three. So they've got quite a few problematic cards. Even a Thalia making our spells more expensive. It's gonna be Minsk. That's fine. Count from Minsk himself. So probably no attack from Aspirant then. Well, let's consider. And you see guard approach isn't bad, but we already have slip out the back and I really need to find some more proactive plays. So I think we have to graveyard it. Well, draw one anyway. And Delver reveals consider, that's good. Okay, I think we main phase to try and find a pump spell. Another Delver, probably too slow. Find a land. Alright, so not the best set of draws here, but uh, at least our Delver transformed and we can attack for 5. Although we're about to take a beating on the way back. Can always chump with Virtuoso, target it with a Slip out the back for instance, and then we get to connive as well. Kind of hoping they play a removal spell like uh, Brutal Cathar, so we get to use one of these. Opponent is down to 12, so doing a reasonable job of pressuring them at least. Could maybe end of turn slip out the back on Drake, just to make it a two-turn clock with our flyers. And that would also draw cards, so it doesn't seem like a huge waste. And yeah, there's Brutal Cathar. Going after Virtuoso. Yeah, I guess we'll slip out the back that one instead. And... Uh, you see a guard approach. If I discard it, we get an extra counter. Which is tempting. Yeah, let's go for it. So we don't quite have a two-turn kill in the air now. But we get to keep a Virtuoso, which can be its own win condition. And a security bypass is excellent. So... Where do we put it? If we put it on Virtuoso, then only Virtuoso probably wants to attack. Um, could put it on Storm Chaser Drake just to draw and kind of keep the cards flowing. Virtuoso has the highest upside, but it's not going to have Vigilance necessarily, so it's not going to help play defense on the way back. So, could see the advantage of just bypassing the Drake and hoping to draw into another pump spell. Another Virtuoso also works. So if I attack with all... Our opponents probably has to block, otherwise a pump spell on Virtuoso kills them. So, yeah, that seems fine, and then we can just play another Virtuoso on defense, which is hopefully enough. So our opponent chumps. And we get to connive, discarding probably just another bypass to get a counter. Maybe a land so we can keep Bypass for Virtuoso to set up a lethal next turn. Although then I don't get to play Virtuoso and keep up Guard Approach. So it's probably just discard Bypass. And then... Uh, might have to make creative use of Guard Approach to tap down a creature to maybe get there. Because without a blocker there's definitely a chance they could kill us. Alright, and our opponent explodes, so they can't see a way out. Still had a guard approach, just in case. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play with a fine hand. Only the one Delver as a creature, but a couple ways to enhance and protect it. So hopefully that works out. Okay. 
pretty good chance of flipping Delver with almost half of our cards being instants and sorceries. Turn on Mountain could be bad news, although luckily no burn spell, just a Kumano. Delver not quite transforming. But now we're gonna go shields up on this guard approach. Plus one counter on Vigilance, hit for two. And then next turn we can maybe play double Homestead Courage or we could get the bypass going if necessary. Adversary with a counter, nice start from the red deck. Could tap it down here, but I'm just gonna take three. Keep guard approach as protection in case of a burn spell. Delver transforms, that's great news. And uh, yeah, how about a Vigilant attack for six? And then keep bypass for next turn. And then we can still maybe give it Vigilance as well. It's pretty hard to read here, but we've got a 6-5 Aberration. Kumano transforms. Could see an attack followed by a burn spell in an attempt to kill Aberration. And yeah, we'll probably block the adversary. Even though blocking adversary is a little riskier, because they could have two burn spells, including an instant speed one to finish off Aberration with Play With Fire. Whereas if I block Etching, they need a Sorcery Speed Royal Eruption, and then an instant speed Play With Fire doesn't get around Hexproof. So I think this is maybe the way to go. And it's going to be a Royal Eruption, so now Play With Fire doesn't punish us, even though they probably just have a Royal Eruption anyway. But stuff that you want to think about when going all in on one creature. They did pause, so it's possible they have to play with fire. And now more protection's useful. So we can bypass plus homestead courage. Although then we're shields down on our protection spell. I don't think it matters at this point. Although bypass also doesn't do a whole lot for us. So maybe just going for homestead courage and keeping up slip out the back is enough as we have a two-turn clock regardless. Could of course play bypass and then we can keep up, slip out the back, but then we have to take three. Seems a little unnecessary. So we'll just pass here. Can always block the adversary and slip out the back to prevent some damage. Opponent firing off an upkeep, play with fire, maybe digging for something specific. And we can now see why, as our opponent plays a white lands into Brutal Cathar, so they had the answer for Aberration. Good thing we held on to our slip out the back. And then we should have enough to attack for lethal on the way back here. So yeah, close game against Boros, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and our hand is missing blue mana. Can we keep any second land lets me play Virtuoso. Guiding Voice can get Environmental Sciences to get blue, and we do have Bypass and Protection, so this hand has a ton of potential, but needs to find a second land very badly. So it's risky, but I think I'm gonna give it a shot, because we can potentially still come back from behind thanks to a powerful Virtuoso start. And then blue land of the top would be amazing. Untapped, preferably. There we go. Up against blue-black. Don't think I want to tap out for Virtuoso just yet, so let's go Delver, Guiding Voice for Environmental Sciences. And then get our lands that way. And then play Virtuoso with Guard Approach backup. Maybe go for a Bypass on our Virtuoso. Okay, opponent on an Asper Angels deck. Reveal Restoration to Delver to transform it, so that can attack past Jada. And then now, probably just play Virtuoso, keep up Approach, and hit for four. Opponent could easily have a Vanishing Verse as removal, so we'll respect that. Put 
but yeah, for opponent just plays a Righteous Valkyrie and some Angels, they could easily win the race, thanks to all those counters. So the bypass for Unblockable gonna be pretty important too. Might have to keep Delver on defense next turn, hold off their flyers while Virtuoso attacks. Kaito gonna draw. So possible next turn we just go Sciences, Homestead Courage on Virtuoso, keep up guard approach, and then the turn after go for Bypass. Now, what do we have here? That seems reasonable, although now we have an Emirius Call as an extra land. So yeah, we definitely have options. I think going Sciences, Courage, keep up approach is fine. And then next turn maybe slam down this uh, bypass, keep Emiria's call in hand. We can discard it to connive and attack for a healthy ten damage. Opponent takes it. So if we can dodge a sweeper, we should be able to close out the game with Virtuoso next turn, and we can attack past any blockers thanks to bypass. Take two down to 12. Kaito can draw. Don't need to worry about Meat Hook Massacre killing any of my creatures yet. So it's pretty much like a depopulate or multiple instant speed removal spells to get us. It's gonna be a retribution making an angel token, that's fine. So we'll just untap multiple ways to end the game here, but this seems like the most straightforward one. Bypass on Virtuoso. Good courage as well if we want to. Discarding a, another bypass, sure. Although multiple bypasses on Virtuoso still lets us connive multiple times. So it can still be useful in some scenarios. But yeah, that's 12 damage, maybe even more. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play with a promising hand. Delver into Virtuoso with a bypass. So pretty much where we want to be. Could use a protection spell for insurance. Especially for up against a removal heavy deck, but this looks like maybe kind of a mirror match. Turn two already transformed Delver, that's great. Attack for three. Could always present more creatures, going Ledger Shredder plus Consider next turn. But might be okay to just go all in on the Virtuoso. Opponent with two mana, deciding what to do with Lumomancer, just passes the turn. Alright, they could have some instant speed removal potentially, Fateful Absence comes to mind. So that would be a reason to maybe diversify and go Ledger Shredder plus Consider or Guiding Voice. Guiding Voice on Virtuoso is quite tempting though, so still gonna go for it and then see if they have an answer. Right, they let it happen, so I don't think they have any instant speed removal. We'll discard Homestead Courage, which we can flash back. And then learn for maybe Expanded Anatomy. I guess something like a Skyclave Apparition could be in our future, although typically not played in a Lumimancer deck. So, unless they suddenly play a Blue Source and a Fading Hope, there's not much removal I'm afraid of. Could get Probation to get past a Blocker as well, but we have Bypass. So let's get Anatomy. And then I'm tempted to just Bypass Virtuoso. And then we can decide whether or not to attack alone with it to make it unblockable, or just attack with both. Slip out the back is some nice protection. So maybe consider can go at this point. And our opponent would need a lot of instants to punish this attack from Virtuoso with a Lumomancer on defense. But it's not impossible for them to have something, so maybe I'll just attack alone. And uh, that will get us looting with connive and yep yeah, put just packs it in they know that they cannot really beat this start as we're about to hit for maybe nine damage and kill them next turn 
with Homestead Courage still available and an Anatomy in hand. So overall, very happy with how the deck performed. Seems like it's a perfect deck to climb ladder with as it can win games very quickly and seems relatively well positioned in the metagame right now with plenty of protection spells to help you against the various Boros aggro decks and some creatures can also just outgrow the opposing burn spells so the only cards to worry about become Brutal Cathar and maybe a Valor stance and then still have those six protection spells. If the metagame shifts towards more control decks with sweepers, feel free to move some of the numbers around and include more copies of Slip Out the Back, which will be useful against those sweeper effects. Otherwise, I think I prefer the Hexproof right now in a better game with more instant speed removal instead. Now, if you're trying to take this deck to best of three, you might struggle a little bit more, as the Jeskai Hinata deck is recently picking up in popularity, and Hinata also punishes you for targeting your own creature with pump spells, so that's not a card you want to face, so just keep that in mind. If you're instead looking for a more budget-friendly approach to this deck, then feel free to cut all the Mythic Rare Dual Lands, and maybe at that point also Delver of Secrets, and replace it with a different one drop like maybe a Lumimancer, and then replace the Mythic Lands with just regular basics, and you should get most of the way there. So yeah, that'll do it for today's gameplay. Wanna thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also wanna thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd. Thank you.